Good morning. Um, different kind of problem today, and I've got in a Jackson JDR 94. Don't know a lot about this guitar. What I do know is it was a concept guitar. Uh, they're very popular if you can find them. Belongs to a guy who I've, I've, I've done a few guitars for. Uh, this is his very, very first guitar, so it holds sentimental value for him. I'm going to show it's a bit grubby, with nothing we can't clean up. Reverse head start, blah, blah, blah. Jackson stamped uh, Floyd Rose. Uh, licensed Floyd Rose. We've got no reason to believe that that's, uh, that's not good. Um, certainly better than a Floyd Rose special, I'd imagine. But there is a problem with it. And this guitar is always had it tuned down to C standard. That's two step, two whole steps down or four whole steps down. But it's got a problem with intonation, especially on the um, G string. Uh, we cannot get the saddle back far enough to intonate properly, so it's sharp. With it being sharp, we need to go that way. But the note's still sharp on the 12th fret. So what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to change the gauge of string. Hopefully that will sort it out. Um, because I know one way or the other, if you change the gauge of string, it should balance out and the intonation shouldn't be far different from what it is when it's set properly. Problem with that is, I'd normally go on the internet to look at that, uh, and that would help me out a lot. And the thing is, today, see that? Internet could not fix the problem. I'm on Virgin, and it's, it's down today. And my wife's rung them up, and then the mode of a router is flashing green, and, and they said, yeah, there's a problem. But we can't find a problem at this end, so the problem's at your end, so you're going to need an engineer coming out, and the engineer can't come out until tomorrow. So we're without internet, so I'm sort of a uh, bit of a creep without a paddle on this one today. Now what I was thinking of doing is, I'll oh, spare saddle here. And because it won't go across far enough that way, what I was thinking of doing was, where the tremolo is, it's hitting the tremolo, the arc. And what I was thinking of doing was grinding off some material off the back of this. And that will give me more... Uh, more of an alteration that way. I don't really want to do that, but it's kind of a last resort. So what I've got to do is, and it's a pain, I've got to stick on the strings he's given me, I'm to strip it, stick on the strings he's sent me, the heavier gauge ones, and try and see if we can do it just by using a heavier gauge string. And if not, then I've got to detune it again, and I've got to grind some off the back of this. Now this saddle itself, is actually shorter than the one on, which is actually really, really quite good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera onto the guitar. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. What I'm doing is. I'm going to remove. <coughs> remove this now that should go straight in there what I like about these tremolos is they've got the longer saddle adjusting screws like on the shawlers they're the big thick barrel ones they know there's no garbage there right, that's that one off I'm going to remove the saddle right, I'm going to take this right off Bit of a pain in the nuts because we've got to take it right out. And what we do is when we do remove this, we don't want to drop the uh, saddle insert, the uh, string block insert. Much easier if I had a long one of these, I could just twiddle it at the end of the guitar or whatever. But you know, these things are sent to try us. As you can see, the tremolo has not moved, that's because I've got it blocked off from underneath. It just makes things working on them so much easier. Oh, this is boring. Doing this quarter of a turn every time. Boring, boring, boring. Now like I say, what I need to do with this string length is lengthen it. And that is virtually all the way back. Now, if I can stick on a shorter saddle, I want to get around that. Yeah, 
get spinning and my fingers would be nice if you could do that please. La -de -da -de -da. La -de -da -de -da. Oh, right, right. Yeah, what I was talking about is these types of uh, affairs. I like these long barrel ones, like on my shawlers. So there you go. I could remove some material off the back of here, but so let's have a look. What I'm going to suggest to myself that I do is. Right, so. Here's the original saddle block, blah, 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 blah. But here's mine. Now, if the height's right, which it isn't, unfortunately, I can't replace it with mine because mine's a lot lower. Mine's an outside one. What happens with these saddles is, is you, the two outside strings are lower than the next two strings inside. The second and fifth strings are a bit higher. The two middle strings, three and four, are higher still. It gives you that radius. Uh, so, one thing we could do is we could possibly look for a shorter saddle. Look at the difference here. The original one's on top and my spare is on the bottom and they're different lengths completely. Uh, the original one's at least a millimetre longer, probably more, if you can see that. But I can't replace it because the heights are different. Oh, where are they? Oh, hang on, we might get away with it. Yeah, heights are all different. Can you see there? The original is on this side, and the, my version is on that side. This one's a lot higher than that, so I can't replace it there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind some off the back. Now, what I want to do is I don't want to be grinding right into that hole there. Um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to strip the guitar because this needs cleaning up anyway, and I'm going to have to just try the new strings and hopefully. Hopefully the gauge of the strings will alleviate that problem. If not, we're going to have to make do with um, <clears throat> with the intonation out on that one string. All the other strings intonate fine, it's just the G string. And this is a problem when you've got Floyd Roses. Uh, you know, because obviously when, um, when you drop tune you need a longer string length. And you've only got a limited amount of movement on a Floyd Rose bridge. There's only a certain amount of uh, adjustment. You've got, you've got a lot of adjustment this way, but once you get to the end of lengthening the string, once you get to the end and you're still not getting the intonation right, it becomes quite drastic. And, and I say to myself, is it really drop, worth drop tuning on a Floyd Rose system? I personally, myself, would not go lower than drop C on a Floyd Rose, which then you don't have intonation problems. Uh, but C standard, you're dropping all six strings, two semitones, whereas drop C, you drop in five strings, only one semitone, uh, two semitones, or one full, to full uh, one full tone there, or one full note. You know, the difference between dropping four frets and dropping two frets. Drop C, you're only dropping the C string itself, two full notes, aren't you? So you're going to have a lot, uh, a lot more string tension on drop C. I would personally do what I just said. I would not go lower than drop C on a Floyd Rose. I actually have my Floyd Rose on my uh, Kramer, I'm, I'm in drop D, which basically you're in E tuning with just one string dropped. And I'm going to change that because I'm going to get a D tuner. I think drop, I think C standard is too low on a Floyd Rose, personally. But what I'm going to do is the guy is adamant that he's always had it tuned into C. He wants it in C. So I'm going to do what I can. If it means we've got that one string, the intonation wrong on that one string, then so be it. Uh, I don't want to take the mickey with this saddle. I don't want to remove more material. I'm going to get a grinder on there. On the Dremel, I'm going to get a Dremel all, all clapped in the vise. And I'm going to bring this to the cutter. And I'm just going to shave a bit more off this angle there. But like I say, I don't want to take the mickey with it. I don't want to take too much out. Because if that still doesn't work, then I've knackered the saddle. Then I've got to replace it. So I'm going to let me, I've let the owner know that, you know, if it doesn't work, it's not my problem. Um, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I can. I'm doing what he, I'm doing it under instruction. Um, and I'm just covering my own, um, covering my own back here, because these two, these fine tuners, are, uh, two or three of them are right back as far as you can go. And there's a reason that they're built that way. So uh, you know, so I'm going to knob on with it. I'm going to see what I can do. I get the intonation as close as I can. I'll come back with an update later. So back with the Jackson JDR. Um, I did exactly what I said I'd do. I've shaved some off 
the back end of this uh, saddle block with a file. Two hand files, done in the hand files. I didn't have to get it on the grinder. And <clears throat> if you see here, we're looking at the third string. The G string, which is there. And I've got it right back. I've moved it back another millimetre. Now the intonation is an absolute gnats just off perfect. We're going to make, we'll make do with that. I could even pull that back a tiny bit more if I wanted to, but look, we've got that knot just hanging on there, so I don't want to go back any more on that. So I'm going to leave it there. It's the best I can do. I'm going to get it all stripped again, get it cleaned up. I'm going to get the new strings on there, and hopefully we're going to be set. Even with a heavy gauge of strings, we might be able to just alter that intonation back that way a bit, and it's going to be absolutely perfect. So it's the best we can do. Um, it's not absolutely 100% the intonation, but it, it's nothing. It, it, it's half a needle out, so nothing to worry about. We're going to get it all set up, and I'll come back to you later. So we're back with this JDR 94. Um, as you know, uh, compound radius fretboard on a Jackson. I imagine you're going at 12 inch radius this end, 16 at this end. What that means is it's got more of a curve at this end, and it flattens out up here uh, for soloing. That's a really, really good idea. Um, but what I wanted to show, what I'm not showing before, is obviously because this is having the tremolo and that done, it's having a complete setup. So I'm going to show where we are. That we remove the tremolo completely, check all the electrics, make sure there's no crackle, check everything's working fine. I imagine that's a coil split on the first pickup. Uh, I've already tightened up the locking knot. I'll tighten up all the tuners at the back, Jackson tuners, tighten up all these uh, bolts on here. It's having a full bit. Tremolo's off, uh, I've cleaned all inside the pickups, uh, cleaned all the dust out of there. Well, I've got them all covered now because I'm going to be, I've just oiled the fingerboard, uh, mineral oil, lemon oil. I use this stuff now, Kaiser, because it's spray on, absolutely brilliant. Um, I'll be polishing the frets, uh, cleaning out all this area. Now, another problem I've noticed here, these posts for the tremolo, listen to this, rocking. Both of them, quite significant rock as well. There's a two mil rock there. Not only would I replace them, I would personally, I would replace the whole tremolo. It's a Jackson tremolo, it's okay, but that's all it is. Um, his dad made a grand job of, because a couple of these, a couple of these old strips out, see here, he told me his dad put some inserts in there, he made a good job of that, and re-threaded them. Um, very, very nice, very well done. Uh, would you replace that? If the intonation is right, probably leave it if it works okay. But down the line, somewhere, if you're keeping a guitar, I personally would stick in a Goto. I'm a massive fan of a Goto Floyd Rose. Will a Goto Floyd Rose fill that hole? Something I'd have to check. Um, on my Hamer, I had to slightly alter this to get it to fit. But a Charla would fit in there, but what's the point of buying a Charla if this one actually is? This is likely made by Schala. I'm not saying it is made by Schala. It doesn't say made in Germany on it. But it looks pretty much similar. It looks, in fact, it looks exactly like Schala. So maybe you could change that out, maybe not. Maybe look at some new post inserts uh, because they're rocking about three millimeters back and forth. I think it is. Let me show you again. I could stick some of it in there. There you go. Let me show you this post here. how much it's moving, get Allen key, I've got Allen key for that somewhere. Get the right size Allen key. There you go, here's the Allen key. Can you see how much that's moving? I hope you can see that, and this one. That's no good to the stability of a tremolo, is it really? So, you know, another thing to look at. I'm going to give you another squirt. Lemon oil, by the way, because I still don't like it. I've had any lemon oil treatment on it. Uh, I'm going to let that soak in for a while. I'm going to get fresh polish. Got to get set up done. Got to come back when it's all done. No point in me showing you all that gubbins. You've seen it all before. Uh, main problem with this has been with the tremolo setting the intonation on this one saddle. This saddle seems to be a little bit higher than the rest of them and all. What can I do about it? Um, maybe that should be that side. That should be that side. Maybe it's just because it's too it's further back. Anyway, we've got it as good as we can. Um, hopefully the intonation is going to be 
It's bang on, it's, it's perfect on five strings, it's just this one string. Hopefully we'll be able to move it back far, we've got it back far enough now. I'm gonna let this soak in, I'm gonna get fresh polish, get on with the up, and um, I will come back later with a final update. Let's press on. What is it with British summers? It's grim out there. Let me tell you something, and this happened before. When we had that spate of hot weather, a couple of weeks back, or a couple of weeks back, two or three weeks ago, and it was blisteringly warm, wasn't it? And I thought, too hot in here. And me and my missus, we've got one 16 inch fan that we're leaving in the, in the uh, bedroom. Our bedroom's on the top floor, we've got a three story house. Anyway, long story short, I thought I need one for this room. So I went and bought one, and I bought an 18 inch massive thing. It's like the fan off the back of an hovercraft, and it's supposed to be three speeds. Well, it's got three speeds, it's got, well, it's got three speeds, it's got mental, more mental, and absolutely mental. And you know what? Since it's arrived, I've had it on for an hour. British Summers, get on with it, come on. Anyway, right, finishing up with this uh, video of this, uh, ask you looking at what it's called, this JDR94. Guitar's all done, um, guitar's all done. Played it, plugged it in. Tune down to see it sounds absolutely brutal. The intonation on the G string is still a tiny bit off, but there's a bit more adjustment I could have on that um, saddle if I wanted. I'm going to leave it as is because it's a lot better than it was. So that's it. The guitar is all set up. I've talked to the owner, he's coming to fetch it Thursday. I might just alter that saddle, I don't know. But the intonation's absolutely bang on everywhere. I had to move a couple of other saddles back as well. String gauge, I think, I can't remember what gauge it is. Quite an heavy gauge, see if we can find out what they are. They're, um, I had to win the pin, get the packet, as you do. There you go. Gauge is 11.56. So quite an heavy gauge there. Um, I had to alter a little bit of intonation. All the intonation on, on the main, on five strings are brilliant, bar the G string. It's a tiny bit sharp. Um, I've got a problem with this saddle. This saddle seems to be a little bit higher than the other five. Uh, so whether it's been replaced over years or not, I don't know. Or maybe it just sits like that. The action I've got nice and low. Next nice and straight. Guitar plays absolutely beautifully. And like I say, it sounds amazing. But then again, drop C with a good distortion pickup is going to sound amazing. So that's it. It's that one tied up. All the electrics work fine. It's ready to go back to its owner. I'm going to get it back in its box and uh, wait for him to pick it up. Another one finished. Uh, I'll be back again with the next project in a couple of days maybe, who knows? Let's see. Till then, be good to each other. I'll talk to you soon. Summer, come. Amen.